there's kind of um, like an like an epidemic happening with like conservative men specifically, and it's because of like the shame that goes around sex that they end up um, with like, much higher risks of like depression um, and a lot of like anger issues. And I know for me, like I was a very angry person too growing up, but like once I like really started to like fine tune my relationship with my sexuality is when I like started to kind of become like my most authentic self. Hmm. Yeah, that seems pretty true. I think for me, it took it was like the actually coming to terms with my sexuality is a much longer and still ongoing process. I think I still have mm-hmm. pieces of me sort of baked in that, that it, like do, doesn't really know what the fuck I'm doing and is like freaking out about it. <laughs> I think those are pretty small and I think they're like quite uh, like far away in that they don't really impact my, my daily experience. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of anger in it, I think that helped. And, and I don't think I did it out of rebellion, but I think that like the anger that I felt helped make me not feel ashamed about it to be sort of like, well, I've been, you know, suppressed mm-hmm. so much that like, this is sort of an expression of, of ownership. And like, this is my body and I get to decide now what I do with my life. And there was like a little bit of rage in that. And I think that was really healing. Like it was sort of a therapeutic mm-hmm. process to be able to work through that. Um, I'm really curious about this. You said conservative men are more likely to experience shame. Is this opposed mm-hmm. to conservative women? I think it's just more prevalent probably because, or maybe like women aren't like outwardly discussing their sexuality when like these, when these um, polls are being taken. Mm-hmm. So like that might attribute to some of like the the skew, but specifically they were saying that it's much higher in conservative men. And I think obviously mm-hmm. like religion ties into that. And they, um, the same data was also saying that they watch the most porn like even compared to like, you know, like liberal men. So guys on the, like the far right are consuming a ton of it, but then there's a lot of shame and guilt that goes with it. um, And that they tend to suffer from like higher rates of depression, which I thought was so interesting. And the timing of it was great because I just did this clubhouse two days ago. And then I tweeted something today that I didn't even think was like controversial. Like it was just kind of stating that like you can be sexual and also have a mind. And to me, like you are like a great example of that. Like, your Twitter account, like, I mean, it's just, it's nothing shy of brilliant. Like, I love it all the time. You have great polls. You have just like very insightful, like, um, like threads that you go on to and the way that you talk about like these really complex topics, like monogamy, I just find so fascinating. Like you're very able to articulate those things. So it was just like a, Hey guys, I'm reminding you that two, two things can be true at once, right? I can be sexual and I can also like have a podcast. I can also have opinions. I can also have a mind. And then I tweet that. And then I have this conservative guy that was running for Congress, um, in Georgia retweet it with a quote saying like, why is it the most like degenerate people of society are trying to force us to accept them? And I was like, Holy <laughs> cow, this just went left. Like, first of all, who invited you here? How did you find my account? Right? Like she doesn't follow me. I don't know who he is. Um, and I was like, I'm not trying to convince anything of anyone. If you want to be monogamous, if you want to be super Christian, like by all means go for it. But I'm just simply saying like, we're all human beings and we should treat each other with some empathy, right? Like show me your character and then I can judge you. Not simply because you're uh, fulfilling a biological need, right? Sex is a biological need for everybody that you're a bad person. So yeah, I I went on like, I had to like calm myself down before this. I was like, I haven't had like someone come at me like that in a while. And it's like, wow. it really gets you sometimes. Yeah, it's so strange and a little bit foreign, the uh, you're degrading yourself frame. Like I remember that from way back when, but it's been mm. so long. And it's crazy because it feels so real for them. Like I used to think like that. And it, it's like such a mm-hmm. specific and strong structure with the way that they interpret reality. And it's so clear to them that we are uh, terrible, degenerate people who are ruining civilization. It's like not even a question. And it it must really suck to Mm -hmm. live in a world where the way that you view other people is like that. Like it must be just so alienating for for both yourself and others. Like you're also alienating that part of yourself. Like in in calling you a degenerate, he's also calling Mm -hmm. all of the parts of himself that are like you also degenerate. So it's, it's really unpleasant for him, I assume. 